Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Amira binti Muhammad Al-Kamsani. I want to present, I want to present to you about the critical cavity surface imaging laser BCSELs. Um, for the introduction, BCSEL stands for vertical cavity surface emitting laser. It is a type of semiconductor laser beam emission perpendicular from the top surface. Uh, it is used to prevent the loss of transmission in optical fibers and have found in, in various optical communication applications. Um, the emittance from only a single surface enables VCSELs to have the maximum output power possible, a long-term reliability and stability, a uniform wavelength and symmetrical laser beam, uh, as well as a low fabrication cost. Uh, VCSELs are also known to produce a circular beam that are easy to couple with other optical components. Uh, in common, the upper and lower mirror of VCSELs are dot SP type and N type material that forming a diode junction. Uh, the P type and N type regions may be embedded between the mirror, requiring a more complex semiconductor process to make electrical contact to the active region, but eliminating electrical power loss in DBR structure. Uh, the VCSELs is established like source for data transmission in short distance links, interconnects, and local networks. The ARMS VCSELs technology includes the epitaxial structure and chip design, epitaxial crews, uh, front and back and processing, packaging, and advanced uh, testing and simulation. Thank you. Next, we will go for how does it work. From this figure, it shows that uh, this big cell emits the light from the surface and produces a circular light beam. A circular light beam makes the coupling process into the optical fiber easier. It consumes less power and it can be integrated in two-dimensional array configuration. By integrating it with two-dimensional array configuration, it ena enables a single die to comprise one uh, hundreds of light source and it can increase the maximum output power and maintain the reliability. So as we can see in this figure, the VXL is composed of several layers. The top layers is the electrical contact for current injection. The resonator cavity is realized with two semiconductor bright mirrors. As we can see in the figure, there is a on the top mirror and the bottom mirror. The top mirror has the 99.0 reflectivity and bottom mirror has 99.9% reflectivity. The bottom mirror reflectivity is higher than the top mirror reflectivity because to make sure that the light is being emitted through the surface. The next layer is the outside layer which construct a light emitting windows so that the light can be optimized into the circular beam. Between those, there, uh, there is an active region gain structure with typically several quantum wells and a total thickness of only few micrometers. The current is often applied through a ring electrode through which the output beam can be extracted. The current is confined to the region of the resonator mode using electrically conductive dope mirror layer with isolating material around them. So as we can see on the right figure, it shows how it shows that the light is being emitted through the surface. Next, this is the figure of the quantum well structure of the big cells. The quantum wells generate a photon which can be bounced back and forth between the top and the bottom DBR mirror. The active region is electrically pumped with a few tens of milliwatts and generates an output power in range of 0 0.5 until 5 milliwatts. And the output power can be higher for a multi-mode devices. This is the basic structure of a single quantum well. It is made of 
two layers of aluminium gallium arsenide in the top and the bottom. And between them, there is just a very thin gallium arsenide layer. The gallium arsenide layer is made very thin so that electron cannot move freely in the z direction but only in the x and y plane. And based on this figure, we can see that aluminium gallium arsenide has wider energy gap than the gallium arsenide. That's all for me. Thank you. Next, we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of VCSEL, vertical cavity surface emitting laser. VC SEL emit a vertical optical beam from their top surface. This way of operating is very different to other diode enable uh, VC SELs to have the maximum output power possible, long term reliability and stability. VC SELs also known to produce a circular beam. It is easy to couple with other optical components as no complicated beam shaping optics are required between the component. Low threshold currents enables high density array. Uh, VCSEL have been developed which are essentially thresholders lasers. Uh, it is only need a threshold current of only 36 micro ampere and much higher power can be generated with VCSEL arrays. A 2D VCSEL arrays containing many thousand emitters can emit tens of or hundreds of watts continuous wave thus competing with diode bars and nets can be tested and characterized directly after growth this make it possible to identify the quality problems early on and to react Im immediately it is possible to combine a VC VC SEL wafer with an array of optical element and then dice this composite wafer instead of mounting the optical element individually for every VCSEL and this represent a significant manufacturing advantage and last but not least substantially lower optical intensities at the facet there is no risk of catastrophic optical damage even in post operation with substantial peak powers and uh, there are also disadvantages for VCSEL. Uh, one, it arrays typically have a somewhat lower power conversion efficiency. But this is also can be uh, advantages for some of the application. And last, the requirements become more demanding and it becomes more difficult to identify VCSEL designs that fulfill the requirement. And that's all from me. Now, we proceed with application of vertical cavity surface emitting laser diodes, VCSELs. For the first one, we have optical communications. VCSELs can be modulated with frequencies well in the gigahertz range due to short resonator round trip time. They are used as transmitters for optical fiber communications and for free space optical communications. Then. For short range communications, 850 nanometers VCSELs are used in combination with multi mode fibers. For example, data rate of 10 GB per second can be reached over a distance of a few hundred meters. Then, we have gas sensing. Gas sensing uses wavelength tunable VCSELs which constructed using Microelectromechanical System MEMS, and possess a separate output coupling mirror. Mirror can be tuned using various stimuli such as thermal expansion or electrostatic forces and relies on the gases molecules absorbing the laser at specific wavelengths. VCSELs or vertical cavity surface emitting laser diodes can only be used to detect one type of gaseous molecule at what time only as the determination of a specific gaseous molecule relies on the wavelength intensity. For example, 
Oxygen is the easiest to detect with VCSELs, but water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide are also possible. As we can see, this is image of gas sensing that applies with VCSELs or vertical cavity surface emitting laser diodes. And then we have computer mice. A laser mouse with a VCSEL as light source that can have a high tracking precision combined with a low electricity consumption. This feature is very important for battery powered device. We can see the image here. There are VCSELs and sensors and also the lens included in the computer mice system. And then for the last one, we have optical clocks. VCSELs or vertical cavity surface emitting laser diodes can also be used in miniature optical clocks which laser beams probe and atomic transition in cesium vapor. The clocks could become the parts of a compact GPS system or global positioning system devices. This is the image of a typical clock system that include with the VCSELs. Thank you. In conclusion, vertical cavity surface emitting laser diode are the optical force which have unique advantage compared to edge emitting lasers. VCSELs based sensor have wide application in consumer electronic, car markets, internet of things, atomic sensing and much more. As VCSELs have become essential for various sensors application in our daily life, this will receive increasing attention from industry and academic uh, communities. VCSELs uh, technology are useful for a variety of medical, industry and military applications requiring, requiring high power or high energy. For example, the application uh, such are uh, such as in medical, cosmetic, laser hair removal, and laser wrinkle removal.